This is a deck of cards. Uh, can be shuffled by anybody. It doesn't matter. Um, not that I can satisfy everybody, but you can give it a table wash, a, a real table wash. Um, someone pointed out that, of course, people can control small groups of cards and whatnot, even with a table wash. But you just get, look, you're just going to have to take my word for it. This is just a shuffled deck. Uh, and I'm not suggesting that there's anything revolutionary about this at all. Uh, right? It's just a very simple kind of procedure. Uh, and that is this idea of taking a deck that's in play in an impromptu setting, not in a show or anything like that, but just when you're around people and there's a deck of cards there, that it is possible to uh, take cards that have been shuffled and to uh, potentially uh, cut aces out of it. Um, you know, it's a very, very simple kind of procedure to just, you know, find find aces. So that's, that's what this is. Uh, you can't see very well from back there, but I wanted to give the view uh, that uh, some of you were asking for. Um, and this comes out of uh, a time when I was uh, just kind of considering possibilities for doing this for real. Uh, if you wanted to actually uh, cut aces out of a deck without having to do any other kind of uh, setup, uh, you know, any kind of preparation. Of course, with a lot of ace cutting routines, you have to do some sort of culling uh, to get aces in order uh, first before you can uh, do the process of actually uh, cutting them out. Uh, and you, you, of course, have heard of uh, John Scarney's, you know, Scarney's aces. And the idea there is that uh, whenever he did it, it was you know, by legend, completely impromptu. And I felt that it was possible, potentially, to uh, do that, even as he did it, uh, to just take a, a deck that's perfectly in square, just through the process of, of shuffling, again, a borrowed deck, to be able to cut uh, two aces. I, I don't see a reason why you can't really do that. There's just a kind of a simple procedure involved here that uh, I've come up with. Uh, and again, I don't think this is something that you would do um, you know, in in a show, I don't think this ha this is how you would do it because there is a little bit of uh, risk involved in it. Um, but in those impromptu moments when you're at a card game, when you're you know with with people and you have a deck of cards and the deck comes to you or it comes right out of the box, this is something that uh, I think even a, a hobbyist can do, uh, which really it very much resembles that holy grail kind of, you know, Scarney's Aces moment. It's really not that far out of reach if you apply the right accessible techniques to it.